Another great day of action, kicking things off with the Roxy Pro France. So Jesse Miley Dyer, Deputy Commissioner, already calling the contest on. And yes, you're looking at your heat sheet the right way. Once again, Stephanie Gilmore, Carissa Moore find themselves <laughs> in the same heat, fighting for a spot into the quarterfinals, joined by injury replacement wildcard Bianca Batendog. I mean, a lot of water is about to start rushing out as we see up and running Bianca. Batendog, the goofy foot from South Africa, getting things started. First completed turn out of the way of the morning. Looking for a finish down the line, late drop on the float, and she ends up going down. Gilmore would have a couple interference calls. She, she was so used to surfing in the old format. As we look at Bianca's first turn. Yeah, nice opening maneuver there from Bianca Batendach, and again, connecting nicely, but coming unstuck at the end here. And I reckon that's just, uh, you know, first wave jitters, just it's a bit chilly this morning, so it takes a little while to sort of warm up. Had so many people coming down to watch the world's best. We're expecting more numbers today. Carissa Moore from the island of Oahu getting started here on the right. Second turn, a little down carb jam to finish. Fell on her first left-hander to maybe even get out there after these four heats of round three. Catching up with Stephanie Gilmore now. Snap off the lip. A little bit of room to move. Second turn, nice and clean. Front side flow, and she comes down with her first opening ride. What's she going to do? You know, is she going to come out and she going to show that confidence and light it up, or is there going to be those nervous moments? Having a look at the left now, Carissa Moore. Just trying to build on her subtle lead at the moment. Backside float into an aggressive backside snap. So knew that rest of that wave wasn't going to give her much. She put it all down on that backside hack, and she's building on her lead with 19 on the clock. 18.50 on the clock. This uh, score came in at a 5.17 pot. Yeah, and I think basically two solid maneuvers. And I mean, we, st we spoke to the judges yesterday, and, and that's kind of what they're looking for. They're looking for that combination of major turns, you know, link those things up, show some speed, some power. A bit of aggression, too, I think goes a, a long way here. Steph Gilmore hooking into that one as well. Another nice searing maneuver from Steph. Beautiful style as she lip lines that one. So three solid turns on that wave there for uh, Steph Gilmore and then Carissa Moore, so as you said, Joe, staying very busy. I like this approach. And this turn right here, just hacking right into it. Nice vertical snap. So Carissa mixing it up. Bit of left, bit of right. Stephanie Gilmore, second priority. Baton Dog and White just holding her position as Carissa Moore locks in. Deep bottom turn, oh, crushes wow. the first section, and it's only good for one maneuver. What a maneuver, though. I mean, that's definitely the best turn of the heat so far. It's going to be interesting to see where the judges go with that because, uh, you know, Dave Shipley yesterday was pretty much saying, you know, it's not about, not, not about how many maneuvers you do on the wave, it's the quality of maneuvers that you do. And this one right here, talk about quality. Look at that. Look at the body position just hooking into that backhand maneuver. Unfortunately there for uh, Carissa, that wave shut down, but that turn was beautiful. Looks at the conditions lightly. One thing she said, though, she has been working with, with Jake Patterson. That's relatively new for her in her career to have a coach. As we look at Benton Dog now checking out the right. She's been loving these rides the last couple of days. Wow. Knows which one's a pick off. A lot of open face. She'll try to time the finish. She'll lay low to get the completion. And now Gilmore heading the same direction. Nice, lively, stylish float just to finish it off. A couple of turns before that. Repeat fives, 5.77 five, seven, seven her last as we see Steph's way. Yeah, Steph needing just a, a small score really to get herself up into that first spot. A couple of beautiful turns. A little bit off balance on that bottom turn there, but really fixed it up with that lip line floater. She's only looking for a 4.37. And then this is Bianca Batenduck's last ride here. That backhand attack has really served her well over the years. Finally at Snapper Rocks against Steph connecting again on that inside section so nice clean mistake free surfing there from Bianca and now we'll get a, a real idea have a look at the sets Joe it's pumping absolutely pumping Chris some more set up carve to get down the line and oh. absolutely crushes that layback hack on the finish comes down to performing with progression as well yeah exactly I mean she's definitely a leader of the pack when it comes to that have a look at this turn here from Carissa not many uh, women on tour have that kind of maneuver, Joe. I mean, that's just uh, a real solid, powerful. They know how amazing she is 
above the lip, coming off a huge final. Having a look now, Chris Moore down the line on this left, another huge windup to crush that section on the back end. One maneuver options, but they're brilliant maneuvers with a ton of power. Let's have a look though. Utilizing these lefts, I like the fact that she's uh, mixing it up. Have a look at this turn. Just jams it straight into the lip. So much confidence, comes out nice and clean as well. Is that better than the 577? Very similar turn. Look at the body position as she pivots off that back foot and just jams that board into the face of the wave. A little bit of a tail tap drop right there, so great control for Carissa Moore. She's looking so confident. But now five seconds to go. Gilmore is going to take the last wave of round three, heat number one. Nice and easy on that sweep into the pocket. Looking extra casual down the line, now picking up the pace. Takes that high line route down the line, just kind of getting a wave into the beach. So her best score, 667. Her low score, 567. Just a lot cleaner, you know, came out of it a lot more sort of positive. Score slowly dropping, and there it is. A 6.27 for oh Carissa Moore. Gosh. Not enough. Another super heat clash with one of her all-time rivals and Stephanie Gilmore. Remember Gilmore winning the opening round heat with Carissa. 15-6 to 15-4-7. Another tight battle with our world champions in Gilmore. Gets the nod into the quarterfinals as this big morning continues. 